All right, YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Iron Ken 3000 back with a review today of the Black Mamba Oversized KO G1 color Dynabox. Yeah, it is the set everybody been waiting on the G1 set, the G1 color. You know, they gave us the old Fruity Tootie Skittle color one. So, with that being said, here they are, fresh from China. And I came home yesterday, had these guys in the mail, so was too tired to do a video, so here we are. Um, as you might notice, a little difference off the top, we have, instead of clear plastic, we have solid plastic on the head and on the tail and on the feet and all the area where Hasbro had clear plastic. They got solid plastic, so then they even went as a little bit to put gold instead of silver on this guy. So yeah, these guys feel good in hand. The plastic quality feels good, you know. I think Swoop might be the only one with some die cast parts in them. All the rest has been removed from the others. You know, um, he's got die cast in the feet. So, yeah. And just to show y'all, I'm just going to bring in a Siege Optimus and let y'all see how that scales up with Grinlock. They're roughly the same size. So, um, now I'm going to bring in a Sludge for a little size comparison all right now we're going to transform these guys up do a little slide show of each one of them with comparison with siege optimus prime all right folks stay tuned All right, so we back with them transformed. And as you can see, this Siege Optimus scales good with these Black Mambo Dinobots. So yeah. Um, some people wanted Grimlock to be the same size, so they're going to use their Power of the Prime um, Grimlock with these guys to make them scale a little bit more better, but yeah, I already got, I'm probably going to need my Grimlock with these guys because I like how big he is, so, you know, with that being said, Let's bring in the new jet fire and see how that scales with these guys. And as you can see how big he stands on Grimlock. You know, and just for kicks we gonna bring in part creator of the Dinobox. We're gonna bring in Classics Wheel Jack. See how these guys scales up with the ducks. And as you can see folks, I think, I think they look very nice. So 
but yeah, you I paid like fifty-six dollars for this set. Shipping, it was loose. So if you guys think about getting one, and also they came with these little cool little instruction manuals, pictures of the Dinobots on them. So instructions open up. Tell you about the transformation. Hopefully, everybody knows how to transform Volcanicus because <laughs> these guys ain't going they don't have instructions for it. So, this is the Grimlock instructions. Now we have Swoop. Yeah, look cool little pamphlet, you know, just showing you some transformations. Guess they wanted to keep the Volcanicus transformation a secret. So, ah, hey. Right. Next. Not least, sludge. Black Mamba Robot Boys. So yeah, folks. Now it's time to transform into Volcanicus. All right, we got him transformed up. I never really had a official Volcanicus because I always had like either four the same limbs or double the same limbs. So this is my first official one with all of them being combined. So this is the best mode that I can get out of him out of the official version. So. That being said, he was a floppy mess. Couldn't really stand up by itself. He's streaming for some super glue. Uh, first, I'm gonna try to tighten the screws to see if that works. But if not, he might get some super glue. But I really just getting him for the oversized dino bodies. I feel like Volcanicus is just a bonus for me since I'm creating my own Titan class, which I will show you guys a little bit but yeah this is the best mode we can do right now for him and this is how he stands up to Optimus Prime about that high now I'm gonna bring in a Volcanicus it has it has two snarls and two slags so we don't see how that compare up to the black mambo which it still is not gonna get to Titan class. Okay, folks. So, with that being said, let me grab it. Alright. This is just one idea. See? He flopped in the back. <laughs> Couldn't even stand up. Let me... Alright, as we can see... He stands about this tall to the original Hasbro version. And right now, this is one with two snarl for the arms and two slags for the feet. And then we have some custom Computron feet that I added. So, this is normal size Hasbro. No upgrade kit, just all half bro. So, <clears throat> with that being said, I took Grimlock's arm and removed them and brought them in closer to the chest so he can have like a less gorilla look to him. 
and those stones are glued and he can't transform anymore so then I added swoop wings to the back so I think that looks real nice so anyway but you can see how tall he is over the Hasbro regular version so we gonna set them to the side a little bit. Don't just gotta tumble again, so let's see the size comparison. Alright, now we bringing in the one that has the upgrades on it. So, and this was all done with slag. custom feet that I did so these things a little taller so as we can see maybe by the inch shorter than the black mumbo Yeah, y'all, it was a Volcanicus prop party. We got the original Hasbro height. We got the upgraded height plus custom feet that I did. Then we got black mumbo back there. But now I want to add in my Titan class. Yeah, folks, I said Titan class that I've been working on. Let me bring him in the background. So. Alright folks, there is a Titan class Volcanicus. And as you can see, he towers over the black marble. So with that being said, I'ma show y'all how to get y'all y'all own Titan class. Let me slide some of these guys out the way get this Hasbro version out the way get this floppy mess out the way okay so here is my Titan class he's made out of half predatory body two slag heads it's the legs put on other parts of Predaking. So I think it came out real nice. For a size comparison, let's put in Optimus. As you can see, he comes to the kneecaps. So yeah, that's a big boy. Now we're gonna bring in Jet Fire. Alright, as you can see, Jet Fire stops at his waist. So, that's a big boy. And I don't have a Predator King yet, but I'm working on getting one to scale these guys up. He still has a little bit more work to be done. Gotta beef up the back. You know, went with metallic red, but it looked like burgundy couple of gold highlights to bring the stuff out. Custom chest, waist made out of Unicron, combine your feet on the side to fill it in. <clears throat> and this guy is, has a lot of super detail that I couldn't bring out, but the best that I can do with him. So. And with that being said, this is my ultimate Volcanicus video I'm probably gonna get another size oversized um, black mamba to customize because I want to keep those guys for my dino box so I'm gonna need another one and then you get some
custom feet that I'm working on. Alright, this is the custom tabs of the Dreamway. And I'm gonna find some kind of way to chop this up and fit it around the black mamba so that we can have some feet since we ain't got a custom upgrade kit. So let me do y'all a little slideshow of these guys and I'm gonna be out.